All right, so we have IQ levels with a mean of 100 and standard deviation of 15. And Bill's IQ is 91. So let's, let's talk about that. So the first thing I want everyone to do is to just, and just for a bit of reminder and practice, we're just going to draw a um, bell curve like that. And we're just going to remind ourselves of what all is going on because we're getting ready for the test here, it looks like. So, so the mean is 100. And we'll all remind ourselves that means that um, half of the population have an IQ level of less than 100 and half of an IQ level above 100. You okay with that? The standard deviation is 15, and I'm just for fun, I'm just going to throw this out just so we get to go over it a little bit. So if we go up one standard deviation, it's 115. If we go up two standard deviations, we get to 130, right? Um, if we go down one standard deviation, we get to um, 85, right? Yeah. And if we go down two standard deviations, we get to... Um, 70. You with me there? Yeah. And uh, just for fun, just the most important, uh, uh, the most commonly used thing with normal distributions is that 95% of the population is within two standard deviations of the mean. So 95% of, of the population's IQ is between 70 and 130. You clear on that? Yeah. And the other thing is like, 68% have an IQ between 85 and 115, and 99.7 are another standard deviation out. But that's the most important uh, thing. So anyway, just to go over it real quick, and it's, 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 we're talking about the area under the curve. So like if you were to shade in um, the area between 70 and 130, this area is 95% of the total area of the bell curve, right? So that means you got two and a half percent out here and two and a half percent out here, right? Okay. All right. So anyway, so 91 occurs around here somewhere, 91. And that's Bill's IQ, right? Now, I'm just going to beat this to death. He's His IQ is at 91. And we're not looking for, like, how many people have exactly an IQ of 91. What we're really interested in, what we're really asking is... Um, you know, what percentage of people score less than that? And I'm also going to try to figure out, just for fun, what percentage of people score more, right? Um, but let's figure out what percent score less. So we'll have to look up our Z table for that. So, so looking in the book, page 376, you see the Z table. And we're going to use this Z table to figure out um, what percent, we're just going to figure out what percent he's above and what percent he's below, right? We'll just do yeah. both, just to beat it to death, so we totally understand it. But but what we need to do, so we'll give you that table, we've got to convert his score into a z-score. And a z-score just means how many standard deviations above or below the mean he's at. So the z-score is just x minus the mean over standard deviation. So we just go 91 minus the mean of 100 over standard deviation of 15, right? Yeah. And that gives us 9 over, or negative 9 over 15, right? Negative 9 over 15, uh, negative 0 0.6, right? So, and all that means is, if we think about like 100, 100 is the mean and 100 is, is right there. It's, um, it's zero standard deviations. It is, at, it is right there at the middle. 115 is one standard deviations above the mean. 130 is two standard deviations. So these are the Z scores. Okay, so Z scores are just how many standard deviations above or below the mean we're at? Like 85 is negative 1 because it's one standard deviation below. 70 is negative 2 because it's two standard deviations below. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. All right. So 91 
is we find 91 to be negative 0.6 because it's 0 0.6 standard deviations below the mean. And when we look up the table, we get we, we look across and we see this funny percentage which says 27.43, you know, um, which is kind of a little annoying. And I want to show that clearer. Uh, here's if you can see this table a little clearer, right? So, uh, negative 0 0.6 corresponds to 27.43, right? Yeah. Um, um, so anyway, what, what that means is, going back to our paper, and you can see the paper now, right? Yeah. What that means is this area here is 27.43%, right? Or I'm just going to round that to 27%, okay? Just so we can actually speak, <laughs> because 27.43 is a mouthful. So he's his IQ score is above 20%, 27% of the population. Does that make sense? Yeah. So therefore, let's all figure out his IQ, his IQ score is less than what percent of the population, because this area, this percent, are the are the percent of people that score above 91. So what percentage is that? And anyone watching from home, please press... Like What's that? Yeah, exactly. And anyone from watching from home, you can press pause and try it. I was going to say, but exactly, it's 73%. Because they both add to 100. Like, is the whole area under the curve is 100%? So he's, you know, um, he scores higher than 27%, the green area. He scores lower than 73%, right? Yeah. And 73 plus 27 gives 100%, right? That's our, our 100 or 100%, right? Anyway, so that's our Z score. Um, we used that Z-score to look up the table, and that gave us the percentages, and I think that answered our question. Let me just check what our question was again. Uh, his Z-score is uh, negative 0.6, um, is higher than 27% of the population, is lower than 73%, right? Perfect.